welcome back to the prize family the prize family the prize family <laughs> the prize family the prize family <laughs> all right y'all so we are back with another banger further ado we are going to get started with this video this video this video this video hey hey Hey, guys, hey, 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 and I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible because this battery is gonna soon be dying, and I don't feel like going upstairs to get another one. Oh, oh, I got it. No, I got it. Oh. All right, guys, so y'all see my twin. My twin, thank you, girl. Oh. <laughs> thank you. All right, y'all, so. We are going to get started. I am going to be talking to you guys about a few things um, because this channel is now monetized. <laughs> which means, yes, which means we are now getting paid. We are now getting paid. Okay, um, Google AdSense. Google, 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 Google. And guess how long it took. I'm going to give you guys until the middle of this video to comment down below on how long you think it took for us to get monetized. So right now I need you guys to start dropping those comments down below on how long you think it took to get monetized, monetized. And then before this video is over with, I would tell you how long it took us to get monetized, period. The first thing lots of people was asking were, um, of course they was asking how long it took us to get monetized, but of course I want you guys to take a lucky sweet guess in the comments down below. So um, when I told them how long, they was like, oh wow, like, well, how how did that happen so quick so the first thing i want to say um is it wasn't easy no it was not easy so i'm going to give you guys a little backstory on before we started the channel so before i made this channel uh what we did was we batch recorded. so that was the first thing that we did we batch recorded you can come in. We batch recorded and um, we recorded, we was like on break for like, I think a week. So we was doing probably like five to six videos a day. So we had literally about two months of um, content and two months of um, videos already recorded once we, um, before we even started the channel. So once we started recording, I was taking my time to edit the videos. Um, and by the time I made the channel, we already had about 10 videos already edited. So that was a really good thing for us because all I did was um, edit them and I uh, post them to schedule. So, um, that's what we did. We batch record. Um, and then we, the second thing we did, we scheduled our post out. Um, uh, when we first started, we was recording about, uh, I think we posted about five videos a week. So we was posting five videos a week and taking a break. Um, I did feel like I wanted to go a day extra. So on, um, on some days I was, po we was posting six days a week instead of, uh, five. Uh, I was just trying to like get a feel of the algorithm, the algorithm on how well it start pushing our videos. Um, I believe by, by the 10th video, it started pushing um, the videos after the 10th video. So that's what we was doing. Um, the, third, the, th the third thing is, I know a lot of people hear this and I'm sure like, I'm sure a lot of people hear this all the time. But what we did was, <laughs> <laughs> we were consistent and we stay consistent and we still are consistent and we never stop being consistent because you see the thing with consistency is the algorithm 
um, start picking up who you are, what you do, what your channel is about, um, and et cetera, et cetera. So when you've been consistent, it picks that up. So it picked up our videos because we was posting five to six days a week. And we were, um, oh, well, that's gonna be the next one. So yeah, we were being very, very consistent. And we was doing what we needed to do, to, to be honest, to get that to that next step. You know, and we was probably like at 50, I think at 85 um, uh, subscribers, I believe. Within, I don't know, like that first week and a half, two weeks. Um, so consistency was the major key in building this channel. You understand? And I feel like being consistent, it kind of taught me a lot of stuff during, um, throughout that process of being consistent. Creativity. Um, a lot of people don't really say, use the word creativity, or they don't really say, cre be creative in your videos, um, but they always use consistency. Um, yes, you have to be consistent, but you also need to be creative. Um, something similar to another content creator, do it your own way. Like, do it in your own style. Do it your own, you know how your platform will perform. Uh, I would say just do it like that. Um, but creativity is like, it's a huge thing into the cre the content world in general. Um, so I would say we were creative also. Um, and community tab, the community tab is a blessing. The community tab, it really like taught me like how to post, a, you know, because sometimes when you're on social media, you have to post to so much platforms. Yo, it's work. It's a lot of work. Like, it's a lot of work. So, the community tab also helped people that didn't get to see our actual video on the on the channel. Um, they did see in our community tab, and you know, just click the link. Boom, they back. They right to our video. So, the com community tab is really, really big. Um, I would say Facebook groups. Uh, Facebook groups. Please use Facebook groups. They're very helpful. Sometimes you may feel like because nobody is commenting, because that's how I used to feel. I feel like nobody was really commenting or liking the post. So I felt like they wasn't really watching. But in general, they wasn't watching. They wasn't clicking on the, they wasn't like liking it and they wasn't saying nothing on it, but they were clicking that link, period. They was clicking that link, y'all. And I was so shocked when I went to my um, analytics and I saw that Facebook was where majority of our um, audience was coming from. So I'm like, wait, they're not liking it on Facebook. They're not saying nothing on Facebook, but they clicking that link on Facebook. Yeah. So that's what I had to learn. Post in those groups. Those groups are so helpful. Don't do sub for sub. I tried that with my other channel and it messed it up. We're still trying to get that back up in order. But do not do sub for sub. It's not a good thing. Go and post your content if you want to interact with other content creators in the group. Yes, but do not go and do sub for sub. Don't go and su subscribe to people's channel because you they go they gonna subscribe to yours and vice versa because it's gonna mess up your channel in the long run. They're not gonna watch your videos, your vid and they're gonna be just dead weight on your on your channel. So don't do sub for sub, it's not good for your channel. I had to learn that the hard way. Make sure that you guys um, go to our, go to the Price Family Vlogs, go and subscribe to our channel, turn on those post notifications, and um, start engaging with our content on that page um, because we are going to start um, working back on that channel. And we're gonna be doing majority of vlogs, and then we're gonna throw a few mukbangs in it, but we're gonna be doing, we're gonna do majority of vlogs on that channel, so we're gonna be lit, y'all. We're gonna be going everywhere, we're gonna be doing everything, we're just gonna be out here in these streets. You hear me? We're gonna be out here in these streets, in these streets, period. This thing that helped us grow and to get monetized was um, your other social media platforms. So whenever you post your videos, um, post a 
small, I don't know, example, small video, a small clip on maybe um, Instagram story or your Instagram post, TikTok, TikTok is where it's at. Um, post it on there. You understand what I'm saying? Like post it on there. It's 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 a really good help. Um, and TikTok actually what helped me. We actually went viral on TikTok, and I just. Um, took because I had actually my own channel inside of um my link to my um my TikTok, my personal TikTok. And when I when we started going viral in that video, I went and took my link out and put the new channel link in it. And when I tell you, it just started blowing up, and I just started promoting it more. What on that video that went viral, I just started po you know posting, I uh, um telling them to go subscribe to our channel. Listen, listen, listen. When I tell you I was working day in, day out, it was lit. Like, listen, no sleep, okay? No sleep, don't eat, baby. But you still gotta get sleep. But yes, like, that, we was lit. Like, we literally had our first 500 subscriber was in like two, two weeks. We gained about, I don't know, like, I think sit down for 600 subscribers just from that viral post within two weeks um and y'all when i tell you it was so shocking because every time i would refresh y'all just boom 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 pull that screen down pull that screen down pull that screen down listen it was lit just you just kept seeing the subscribers come boom 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 listen it was lit i was excited i'm like yes but my, and, and and at that time we had already had, I don't know, like 20, I don't know, not, not 20, but we had about almost 20 videos up at that time within two weeks. Because remember, we was posting shorts too. Oh, and I'm gonna get to that. Um, we was posting, um, we had almost 20 videos up when we did go viral on TikTok. So people had something to watch. When y'all make a channel and y'all start promoting y'all um, channel, Please give these people something to watch or they not gonna stick around. Y'all have to have videos up already. Please stop promoting these channels if you only got one video sitting up there and, you, and it's been a year since you posted another video. Nobody's going to follow you. People want to see content. People want to see consistency. People want to see your work. People want to see what you're doing. If you're not posting nothing, baby, they gonna probably unsubscribe as soon as they watch a video. The, 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 the same video that you had up for one year and they post nothing else. They gonna unsubscribe. Like, I'm telling you this right now. I know this from experience and I do that too. So I'm not even about to sit here and cap. But yes, give these people something to watch. Y'all, we had almost 20 videos up in two weeks of, um, of having that channel. So it was literally, we, it was good. Like, we didn't have nothing, like, no, we didn't, it didn't like we had like one or two videos. We had like a lot of videos up at the time. So I would say, you know, TikTok, post on TikTok, post a clip on TikTok, put your link in your description, um, and tell these people to go follow y'all. Like, it's nothing to be embarrassed about um, promoting your channel. A lot of people be embarrassed and be like, you feel like you're begging for subscribers. You're not begging for subscribers. You're doing your job as a content creator. You opening, you open up doors for your channel. You letting people know about you. You getting your, your, you getting eyes on your stuff. Don't feel like it's an embarrassment because you tell people to go subscribe or you feel like you begging. You're not begging. Go out here make these people subscribe to your channel be energetic be fun be happy people want to see energy you understand and when i say energy i mean good energy happy energy not sad depressed no nobody wants to see that be happy in your videos be hype i mean yeah you gonna always say oh that's not me well baby that's not everybody but that's what we doing that's what people doing now they they happy they excited they bringing energy to their channel so guess what when they bring in energy they bring in people they're bringing viewers they're bringing engagement because one thing about it nobody wants to sit and watch a boring video dog i've seen so many boring videos when i used to do sub for sub when i tell you i used to fall asleep watching these videos bro the, vi the videos be so boring like literally boring but i'm watching it because i already subscribed to these people channel i'm not about to go back to their channel so i basically just up to them just you know understand. You, you understand what i'm saying so have energy in these videos 
talk to these people, be happy to these people, be authentic. My entire family, my entire little crew, we are all authentic. We come in with the energy. We happy in these videos and we going to stay happy. We going to stay bringing the energy. If we don't feel like recording, we're not going to record because who wants to be, who wants to record and be sad and be sad when recording or not in a, not in the mood to record. I want to bring all of the energy when I'm recording, period. So if I don't feel like recording, I'm not because I already know I'm not gonna bring my best. Bring your best out when you watch, when, you, when these people is watching your video. Bring your best, put your best foot forward. You understand what I'm saying? And you may feel like you're selling yourself. You're not selling yourself. You are trying to get to the top and if you can't and if you can't get it to, if you're not trying to make it to the top then what are you doing what are you doing what are you doing obviously nothing <laughs> all right let me stop because i don't want to get a lot of people mad so but if i do i don't care i'm giving it to you blood raw so if you don't like it then obviously this is not the video for you period all right so I didn't write nothing down, so I'm just going out based off my head exactly on what I was doing. Um, so what else I was doing? So engagement, I was engaging back with people. It took probably a few hours, but I was still engaging back with the people that was commenting, the people that were saying stuff. I mean, commenting, you know, they would go and they would also follow us on um Instagram too. So make sure y'all Instagram is set up very nice and organized. Um, make sure that you got your Instagrams inside of your bios. Make sure you got um, all of your um, social media handles inside of your bio, inside of your, your description um, on your channel. Just make sure your page is set up very nice. It's set up to fit the algorithm. Make sure you you mentioning your YouTube name in your bio. And, and whatever else channel that you have, make sure you're mentioning it in your bio. Um, make sure that when using the correct hashtags, put the hashtags inside of what the hashtag, what the hashtag section at. Make sure you're putting all of your the right hashtags. Um, and keywords, keywords is a blessing, and they have so many websites that can help with that. Um, TubeBuddy. Um, what's the other one called? Um, what we're using at the moment. And when I tell you, listen, it's, listen, it could get a little pricey now to get all of the, all of the things that you're going to need. But I feel like you can start off small if you're a smaller channel, but listen, I've got the expensive one and it's working. Listen, it's working. When I tell you it's working, it's working. So keywords, um, and you and use them saying some of them saying keywords in your description. I used to be so confused when it came to that. I didn't understand it. But now it's like, mm, this is like a piece of cake to me now. Y'all, I'll be on it. Like you can ask my kids, like I'll be on it. Like I'll be on that computer. And also, you're gonna need a computer to get like the best results. Because yes, you could do stuff on your mobile, you could do stuff on your phone, but you're not gonna get everything that you see on a computer you're not going to see it on your phone some of the stuff so i would say just try if you don't have a computer already try to invest in the computer so that um you can get the best out of it because listen listen period y'all just don't know okay um and also like i've you know, I've been like doing my own little thing, but I'm also friends with a few of the content creators. Um, you know, and listen, you have to start associating yourself with or around whoever that's higher than in, this in a higher position than you, because you can't be hanging around people that's on your level or under your level. You understand what I'm saying? You have to hang with people that's higher higher than what you're on so that you can elevate and that's what i always pay attention to that's why i moved from where i was at because i wasn't elevating in that situation i was constantly you know just running in circles running in circle but i wasn't going up so i felt like when you elevate yourself on a higher level you get to a higher level just just be happy. That's all. Be happy. Be excited. Do what you got to do. I don't know what kind of channel you have, but make the channel pop. Make the videos pop. 
put a lot of different effects in it. I had to learn that too. I use cap cut also for um majority of our videos and they have like everything on there. Um and it's free. I think now they're starting to charge, but I think I think it's free. I don't I'm not sure. But cap cut like it's I've learned so much. I used to use iMovie, but it wasn't giving me all of the effects that I needed. So I you know just trans transferred over to cap cut cap cut is the bomb like when i tell you is the bomb the bomb bomb so that's what i've been using for all of our videos on this channel every last one of them and it's like the more you the more that you edit the better you get at it you understand the, the more you learn different stuff so that's what I did, that's what I've been doing, and I have been seeing so much growth in our videos. Um, I've been seeing so much growth in um, in everything in general. No, you don't need a camera. You don't need a camera. We have a camera now, and we're using the camera, but you don't need a camera. We started with, with, with our iPhones, with my iPhone, until we can go up a step, um, and that's what we did. We just kept working and working and working until, you know, we got to that point um, to afford a camera. So we got our camera. You are going to need a phone. You may need a ring light depending on what you're doing. Um, they also have lights that you can attach to your camera as well, uh, which helped me a lot. And I actually just got this light. And it's so helpful, y'all. Right now, it's a little bit bright because I have my big ring light on. But I have my light next to it. It's dead right now. But when I tell you, it's like the best. Like the best. And it wasn't even that expensive. So I just feel like you have to invest in your channel to make it work. I understand people don't have, don't have the funds for st certain stuff right now. So you just work with what you can work with until you can get where you're trying to go. Period. And that's what I had to learn. So, now. I am going to tell you guys how long it took for us to get to 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours, which makes us monetize for YouTube. All right, so drum roll, please. An eternity later. to get nowadays we had all of the watch hours but we just didn't have all of the, all of the subscribers so we had passed a little bit over 4,000 um 400. wait we had passed a little bit over 4,000 watch hours when we were at like 800 and something subscribers so we was literally 200 something 200 and something away from a thousand subscribers but we had already reached our 4,000 watch hours because we was posting, like I said, back to back every single day. And then during Vlogmas, we was posting seven days a week. We posted seven days a week, the whole entire month. We posted seven days a week. And when I say watch hours, if some of you may not know, watch hours are really hard to get, especially if you don't post a lot of long videos. So try to post more long form videos, and um just make it exciting so they can watch it all the way through so yeah we was watching long form video we was uh, posting long form videos and short form but a lot of people was watching them i guess all the way through because i was looking at the the um, analytics and the analytics was crazy like literally so yeah we was posting seven days a week during vlogmas and then after vlogmas 
we started I started going back down I went back down to six days a week so right now we're posting six days a week um, and I am posting on all of my platforms like from my personal page to the family page I'm posting on Facebook um, I'm posting like everywhere literally so that's how our channel grew so quick and it's and now we're like I think we're at like 1200 and something um subscribers so we're still small but we're gonna be big this year because guess what my goal is to be at 100k by the end of the year and guess what that means if i gotta work extra hard that's what i'm gonna do because i'm trying to reach that goal i don't care if we at 99.9k baby we gonna get there by the end of the year so I just want to thank you guys for tuning into this video. I hope that I gave you guys so much insight and information information on um, how we got monetized and how we started getting paid for YouTube. Um and yeah, like that's it. That's all. Like so, if you guys have more questions, make sure you guys comment down comment them down below. Let us know your um, thoughts. Let us know your let us know if you have any more questions for us and I will gladly like gladly gladly answer them for you guys um make sure you guys follow us on all social media platforms don't forget to head on over to the price family vlogs and wait for us because we're gonna start posting over there shortly um so don't forget also um continue to wait around for this video i am going to be posting the person the people that has been showing us mad love so yeah and that's gonna be in our next clip so if you want to know if you were chosen make sure you stay tuned we're out all right guys so here's the few people that show love throughout our entire um videos um every day i'll be posting like whenever we post in other videos there will be different people so just be on the lookout for your name <laughs>